welcome to yet another interesting episode of Trendy Bites here on Linda Space Media. You know my name by now. Okay, my name is Linda. And in today's episode, I have cases of coronavirus increases in Nigeria. People condemns Buhari's inactions. The youth burn down police station for being told to stay at home. Nigeria celebrities takes love to the streets amid corona pandemic. Plus, my funny video of the week. Do not go anywhere. Details of this stories comes up shortly. All right, so let's dive in straight up. So it is no news that the whole world, as it is right now, is battling against COVID-19. And the news by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control and CDC. As of the time of recording this video, March 29, 2020, states that there are cases of COVID-19 reported in Nigeria with one death. So, in a bid to stop the spread and educate the public, NCDC has come up with its new WhatsApp services. Yes, NCDC launched its new WhatsApp the services that would help them spread and give Nigerians real-time messages it's like a two-way conversation and Nigerians can also reply and talk to them. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a good one? Okay, so let's continue. According to a tweet by NCDC, this is what you stand to gain when you opt into the new WhatsApp services. You all get latest updates on COVID-19 in Nigeria. You will get information on how testing is being carried out. And you will receive urgent messages from NCDC. So how can you grab this available you know, services being offered by the NCDC? It's very simple. All you have to do is to say hi to the following number right now. 0708-711-0839. 0708-711-0839. Just say hi and that's all. Okay. So I hope you're already grabbing and you know diving into that available services being offered to us by the NCDC. Okay, so while you are at that, within the week under review, we had some notable politicians and celebrities test positive to COVID-19 in Nigeria. Here are the list of some notable Nigerians who tested positive and came out to say they are positive, actually. talking COVID-19 yes so following the outbreak of COVID-19 lots of leaders political leaders religious leaders family leaders have all came up to talk to their citizens congregation members admonishing them giving them words of hope telling them to stay safe and all what not and yes Nigerian president Muhammad Buhari has joined the bandwagon yes he did come out to talk to Nigerians to stay safe but not without an uproar as he referred to COVID-19 as COVID-19. We are working with the Ministry of Health on protecting our citizens from COVID-19 virus. Our citizens from COVID-19 virus. Well, that's not the gist, okay? That's not even the news to me. As far as I'm concerned, there are a lot of factors that would have led him to pronounce that word as COVID-19. I'm not making excuses for him. What are you saying? Well, all I'm just saying is so we can just pass the story and go to the juicy part. You get? Now you understand, right? All right, so a man of peace, as he likes to be called on Twitter, set the Twitter community agog. Yes, as he had Buhari trending on March 27, 2020, all through the day on Twitter. Are you wondering what he tweeted? Well, I'm going to let you read it for yourself.
dehydrated this time around eat lots of veggies and yeah all right now, yeah so as if we didn't hear enough from a man of peace natasha akide popularly known as thatcher blasted president buhari for not addressing nigerians on the coronavirus according to her according to a post she made on instagram on 28 march 2020 she said that president buhari has failed to address nigerians the 14 million people that voted for him in power but chooses to leave the work for of addressing nigerians for his social media managers who only does that on twitter and she questions and asks did we vote the present administration into power via twitter see what i'm talking about nigeria is the giant of africa come rain come sun nothing is going to change that but look at us getting addressed from Twitter. Did we vote for our president from Twitter? Over 14 million people voted for the person on seat right now. Yet, we're getting addressed from Twitter. And everybody's just sitting down like it's normal. I don't even know how... Unusual things are so normal in this country. Everybody is sitting down. Everybody is fine. Tatcha of Big Brother Niger peppered them housemaid there, berating the Nigerian president for his inactions amidst the coronavirus pandemic in Nigeria. Yes. So you're still watching Train Device here on Leader Space Media. When I come back, youth allegedly burned down police station for being asked to stay at home. Nigerian celebrities spread love amidst coronavirus pandemic. And remember, I have a funny video for the week. Do not go anywhere. Let me go drink water. I'll be right back. And single use of plastics. Use reusable plastics like this. And not single use plastics like this. And single use of plastics. Use reusable plastics. Okay. So while we as a global community, we're trying to combat coronavirus, COVID-19, like I've not seen a situation where the whole continent, all the islands, you know, just come together to fight a common curse, preaching isolation, preaching stay safe, preaching stay at home, preach, preaching being clean, preaching washing your hands, you know, we're just advocating for the same curse. We're, we're all doing this while some seemingly you know stupid youths out there on 27 march 2020 still held friday jumat prayer in katina state nigeria okay so the nigerian police came into the matter arrested the presiding imam that's the person presiding the prayer arrested him for questioning but this did not all go down well with his members as some of them came back the next morning at about 9 o'clock in the morning and set the whole police station and the DPO's office ablaze. At the end of the fracas, we, seven vehicles and 10 motorcycles were counted to have been burned down. Well, normalcy was however restored and 90 suspects were arrested for persecution after investigation must have been completed. Like, I do not understand what's wrong with some people. Like, I don't know. Do you know? Please tell me if you know, because I seriously do not know. So and Nigerians think... have once again proven to be their brother's keeper. Yes, as we had some celebrities and philanthropists in Nigeria come to donate, donate cash and goods, you know, to Nigerians during this stay at home order, you know. You know we are all preaching stock up, stock up, stock up. Some people don't even know that some people do not have money to stock up so because of this some notable nigerian celebrities and philanthropists came out to donate cash and goods to people random people random out of luck <laughs> Oh, you know, 
we had some successful businessmen come philanthropists donate generously as well we have the likes of business mogul Femi Otodola donated the sum of 1 billion naira towards the eradication of the deadly coronavirus pandemic in the country we also have the central bank of nigeria and the private sector led by alika dangote foundation and access bank set up a coalition aimed at raising 120 billion naira towards the fight against covid 19 in nigeria we have uba provide 5 billion naira for covid 19 relief support across africa okay so we have some other well-meaning nigerians who we couldn't catch on camera you know spreading love and sharing anything they have to just help others you know go through this time okay but you too can contribute yes you can contribute by just staying safe yes stay safe for us we love you okay so before i end this episode of trendy bites i caught this hilarious you know i saw this hilarious footage online and i thought i should share it with you okay so it's very funny i'll just leave you to you know feed your eyes so this is what i'm talking about okay it's time for my boldest move yet i hope she doesn't burst my bubble i needed to see her but i also wanted to respect the fact that we should be social distancing I crossed the street and texted tori to come outside and look to the left i think she liked it I brought flowers and hand sanitizer, but that was a misstep considering I was locked inside this bubble. We were having a lovely walk in the neighborhood when a cop car pulled up. But he recognized us from the news last night and just wanted a selfie. There is nothing this crisis would not make you do. I totally understand you. I plucked dear okay so with that i call it an end today to this episode of trendy bites i hope you had fun because i did like i enjoyed myself like i don't even want to go right now but i have to go so i can come back next week same channel next week my name is linda thanks for watching